I currently sleep alone. And when you sleep alone, you realize you're the only one to protect yourself at night. Um, sometimes in the middle of the night, if I hear a sound, I'll think, oh, a presence is here. Make a sound for it to go away, Melissa. So I'll hear a little, and then I'll go, That'll show them. <laughs> um, I like to play video games, and uh, I came up with a defense mechanism. Uh, I, uh, when I walk alone at night and I feel like someone's following me, I just like to pretend I'm a sim. Remember the Sims video game? Because that'll scare them off. Just go, ah, so, wow, wow, ah, so, so, wow, be, wow, wow, hey, <laughs> so, so, <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm from LA and I moved to New York for the show, which is awesome. Uh, but when I moved to New York, there's these guys called brokers that they uh, open the apartment and show you the place. And there was an apartment I was looking at, another girl also was looking at it, and she, we walk in and she did the law of attraction, which is you act as if it's already yours, you say the things out loud. You know, she walks in, she goes, oh yes, I could see us living here. My boyfriend and I are bed right here. Look at these cupboards. We can put all our plates and cups and when we have guests over. Oh, that's great. Oh, and in that corner there, I could put our little chair. That is great. And I was like, darn it. That was my plan. I was going to say everything I own out loud and act as if this place was mine. But I realized I couldn't. I couldn't say the stuff I own. It's just weird. Couldn't walk in and be like, yes, I could put my anime stuffed animals over here. I could put my ramen in this cupboard. I don't need these other cupboards. And in that corner there, I could put my chair where I have meltdowns in. <laughs> uh, I hang out a lot alone, but I do a lot of voices, so I'm never really alone. A lot of friends. Something I used to do when I had Facebook, I used to love reading people's statuses with voices to crack myself up. I'd just be in bed scrolling through that news feed and I would have a blast. Just got engaged, Thang. Don't give up, single ladies, you're Prince Charming. Shut it, Tiffany. Just passed my science final. Meet me at the bar to celebrate. No, no one wants to go, you dork. <laughs> then I get that nice essay status, the big chunk. I turn off all the lights, light a few candles, and read it as Gandalf. Last year, I was in a very dark place. All my friends got married and got raises in their jobs. Well, I lost my job and my wife. I read more. So I wanted to end it there, jump off a cliff. But something changes here for me. I found happiness because I join CrossFit. I eat kale every day, and I've been on Tinder getting very lucky. So know this, you too can be happy as I am. You guys can try that out. Sure. Um, I'm a really sensitive person. I used to get butt hurt from the dumbest things. Like, do you ever get people that look at you and say, you know who you remind me of? You look like this girl out there. You sound, dress, look exactly like her. It's crazy. <laughs> It would always break me, like, well, if someone's better at being me, then why should I exist, right? So what I used to do is I used to change up my face a bit, hoping they forget how I look like to them. And they go, you know who you remind me of? <coughs> well, now the roach man from Men in Black. <laughs> it's in the back, sugar water. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm Elizabeth Senor. Have a great night. <laughs>